politics, cultural exchange, social life and ecological issues. These are only few areas where international organizations implement their projects. They cooperate with public and private partners and preserving peace for future generations is their principal goal. How do they arrange their work? What role is given to Kazakhstani initiatives? You'll find more on this in Kazakhstan International Vectors. Annually, the organic market demonstrates sustainable growth despite the world crisis and recessions. We have no legislation which would support the development of the organic farming. the 20th century, the rapid growth of Earth population gives rise to a number of global problems. Among the most serious are hunger and poverty. Thus, from 2 to 3 million people died from malnutrition in India in 1942. Tragedies like this have also happened in other countries. In order to provide the population with food, governments shifted to new methods of agricultural development. This period was named the Green Revolution, which was marked by growing of modern crop varieties, usage of pesticides and modern technologies. However, the consequences of the Green Revolution became a matter of global concern as late as in the middle of 1970s. The high demand for fertilizers forced enterprises to work at the maximum degree. Meanwhile, environmental issues became of lower priority. As a result, waters and soils became contaminated by heavy metals, many animal species have disappeared and sickness rate rose sharply. At that time, world scientists started to develop new organic crop growing programs. The new area was called the organic farming. Maximum reduction of synthetic fertilizers, pesticides and other chemicals allowed reducing the environmental load. Europe and the US were the first who appreciated sustainable benefits of the organic farming. In 1992, a proper legislation was developed by European countries, which encouraged a lot of farmers to shift to growing of organic crops. Despite the measures taken in the 20th century, nowadays the organic farming is not developed enough, although the high demand for it still exists. Soil degradation or cropping power loss is the main problem of the global agriculture. Scientists are talking about disappointing facts. Nowadays, dry farmlands account for 25% of all lands. Moreover, this figure annually increases by 8 million hectares. And if no proper solution is found, the problem of food shortage will threaten to 9 billion people within the nearest 35 years, experts say. Therefore, how are international organizations going to supply all humankind with food and prevent global soil exhaustion? Beautiful ripe apples, tennis ball-sized strawberries and bright tomatoes without any characteristic order. Nowadays, anything is available on the market throughout the world, independently from the time of a year. Modern technologies allowed people to diversify their menus and grow exotic fruits and vegetables almost everywhere. However, there are many different ways of doing that. Some farmers enrich soil with mineral fertilizers. Others use chemicals in order to raise their crops. For the recent years, consumer preferences have changed. More and more Kazakhstani families give preference to local organic food products. New enterprises are being opened throughout the country, specialized on so-called bio-food production. For entrepreneur Daulet Tokpakbaev, customer's choice is an integral part of his successful business. One year ago, he built a greenhouse complex specialized in growing of organic vegetables. Vegetables grown in commercial greenhouses have no chemicals at all. Here we use only potassium, phosphate and nitrogen fertilizers, which are necessary for plants' growth. We don't use all the elements from the Mendeleev's periodical table, as some people say. Instead of that, we feed our plants with nutrition substances, which are necessary for human body. The demand for eco-products is constantly growing, Dowlet notes. Because of that, the entrepreneur also is going to increase his production. We plan to improve and expand our greenhouse. 
Now we negotiate with investors from Poland and Holland relating to the construction of another six and four hectare greenhouses. Nowadays, 164 states around the world are developing organic farming. The high demand for such products affects pricing policies. For instance, people in highly developed countries pay from 15 to 30 percent extra for eco products. In Kazakhstan, this figure varies from 20 to 60 percent. It can be explained by slow development of this economic sector despite the high demand for such food products. One of the reasons is the absence of proper legislative provisions in a number of states. International organizations, including the Federation of Organic Agriculture Movements, have been trying to solve this problem for a number of years. The International Federation of Organic Agriculture Movements, IFOM, specializes in developing of organic farming standards. It was established in 1972 in Versailles, France. It unites about 800 organizations in 120 countries throughout the world. The organization works upon stimulating the greater demand for the organic food. We inform people through the mass media and other standard means about the organic food market and its prospects. The absence of synthetic chemicals is the main principle of organic farming development. According to research carried out by American scientists, an ordinary apple while growing is treated with approximately 20 various chemicals. We don't know what substances were used for their growing, and in organic farming the concept of health has a wider meaning. It implies not only people's health, but also healthy food, soils and environment. IFOM creates special quality standards from seed planting to cropping. Failing to observe these norms by farmers threatens them a fine up to $11,000. In Germany, for instance, the system of organic farming even prohibits diesel-operated tractors. Instead of that, rapeseed oil is used. Diesel is only allowed for starting tractors because rapeseed oil is comparatively thick. Nowadays, more than two million companies all over the world use the organization's standards. Many states have even developed proper laws. Proper draft legislation is now being developed in Russia. The organic production law was adopted in Moldova. Ukraine also has its own organic farming law. Proper legislations are being developed in Tajikistan and Kyrgyzstan. The Industrial Revolution, armed conflicts and consequences of nuclear tests altogether affected the environment quality. In the middle of the 20th century, various eco-movements were founded all over the globe. The agricultural sector was also taken into consideration. In 1972, president of a French farmers' organization, Ronald Chavright, jointly with his colleagues from Germany and Canada, established the International Federation of Organic Movements, or IFOM. This organization was founded upon the initiative of producers, volunteers and other people concerned about the issues of environment and healthy nutrition. Presently, the organization consists of more than 700 members from different parts of the world. Currently, about 40 million hectares of lands all over the world are intended for growing of organic products. And despite the acute shortage of such crop areas, expanding them seems quite a difficult task. Sometimes the preparation of farmlands and their cleaning from chemicals takes up to seven years. Moreover, each piece of land should be certified and obtain a proper documentation. The organic farming is based on soils which are the first step towards everything. At the same time, the entire process is being supervised by certifying companies. Everything begins from soil and ends with product sales. Representatives of the organization note that farmers and producers face with strict requirements and expansion into international markets without a certificate developed by IFOM is impossible. Producers apply to a certifying authority in order to be certified as organic producers. These authorities appoint inspections, supervise these companies and determine a transition period. Far from any company can turn into an organic producer in a short period of time.
Certifying of one type of a product in Germany costs about 500 euros, in France a little over 750 euros and in Italy 900 euros. European farmers enjoy a significant state support. This business requires a lot of investments. Because of that, governments subsidize not only organic farmers, but all the agricultural producers. Even after obtaining of all documents and entering the market, producers' costs are not compensated at once, say the organization's specialists. Thus, initially, they should pass the so-called revival process. After the transition to organic farming, agricultural producers experience a decline of their land productivity during the first five years. And as soon as the quality of soils improves, they become more fertile and the crop capacity increases. and 10 million hectares of lands in Kazakhstan have been recognized by specialists as degenerative. At that, the problem of such areas is being actively solved. Thus, the program on water balance restoring and forest replanting has been already adopted. According to Mackenzie International Company, which has conducted researchers in Kazakhstan, currently degenerative lands inflict losses to the amount of about $2 billion annually. Kazakhstan intends to increase the output of organic products in the nearest 30 years. For this purpose, the organization cas m has been founded. Its main objective is to introduce the principles of organic farming throughout the country. It closely cooperates with the International Federation. Experts note the positive effect of this work. Owing to this federation and the application of the organic farming, we grow grapes, rice, like rice as well as cereals. Specialists forecast that by 2020 the organic food market will increase up to $250 billion and the number of workplaces in this sphere will reach 1 million. Now the organization's task is to further the stable growth of this sector by means of implementation of new approaches. Currently, the organic food market is estimated at $60 billion. Annually, this figure is increasing. Now, there are about 2 million producers of organic food all over the world. 170 countries practice organic food production and 82 states have adopted proper legislation. Australia is the country with largest organic farmlands. A fruitful cooperation with a number of countries has changed their approach towards agriculture, say the representatives of the Federation, and eventually some of them can definitely switch to organic farming. Annually, about half a million people consume food products with large amounts of pesticides. Ten thousands of them die as a result of poisoning. Scientists warn that excessive usage of chemicals destroys fertile soil layers and kills beneficial insects. Besides that, pesticides also contaminate ground waters. Their concentration in different parts of the world varies from 4 to 10 percent. Recently, I was at the international conference concerning those questions and some scientists named 22 different types of diseases which have appeared due to the usage of pesticides. This problem actually has spread very fast and the number of cases continues to grow. I am talking about autism and cancer and some other diseases which actually are connected to pesticides usage. A record-breaking tomato weighing 4 kilograms has been grown by a farmer from Minnesota. According to him, he treated the vegetable in a special way and grew it from seeds, the origin of which he conceals. A part of seeds of the gigantic tomato was distributed among other farmers and the rest were offered for sale at the charity auction.